guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and the name of my channel is Pierre Girl for Puerto Rican Girl. I hope that everyone is doing well and safe. In today's video, as you can see by my setup here, I'm going to be sharing with you a small Trobits haul. Um, I actually ordered these pieces online, but I was so excited to get them that I couldn't wait to do an unboxing and I started wearing my pieces right away. And the reason why is because I got my first Trollbit ring. Yes, I'm so excited because I have been looking for this ring for a little while now. As you guys probably know, I have said that the store here in Puerto Rico unfortunately closed its door last year in summer 2020. And um, ever since the store closed, I have, you know, a wish list of pieces that I have seen in the store. And this one was one of them. What I decided to get is, let me open for you. Yes, one of these amazing rings of change. And this is the twisted version of those rings. Here it is. To me, these rings are so different, so amazing. I was so intrigued by this. I actually tried it in my store before the store closed its doors and I knew my size and what exactly I wanted. I decided to go for this one because I thought it was going to be more versatile with my collection, not only my Trollbits collection, but also my Pandora collection. In fact, I really own one bangle, only one bangle from Trollbits, and that is the um, star bangle. I have this design, which I have been wearing for a little while now. I have posted pictures on Instagram. And I considered getting the star ring of chain, but I thought that this one I would get more use of. And in fact, I know the one that is related to the bangle is now retired. So maybe in the future, I would love to get that one as well. It is so beautiful, you guys. I know it's, it might not be everyone's cup of tea because it's actually different, but that's what I love the most about it. I choose this ring in size 54. So that's the way it looks. Let me put it on the side so that is better on the camera. So I was wearing other rings before, so that's why you see some mark in there. But this is how the ring looks. And to be honest with you, I didn't thought of wearing it this way. I got an idea from a sale associate in that store, the one in Puerto Rico, and I decided to follow what she did. And for that reason, I ordered a piece that is right here that I'm gonna be sharing with you now. I also decided to get two items from the summer sale this year because I knew I wanted to get this ring and I paid full price for it. I knew I wasn't gonna get that crazy with the summer sale, but I did got two pieces. So let me open this box for you. So I got two glass beads and a silver bead that is gonna be actually for the ring. So let me share them with you. The first glass bead I decided to order is this one. This is called the beige moonstone glass bead and as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous the beige is of course the color in the center and then all those raised buds are kind of representing moonstones i love it i love how those um raised bumps kind of change color according to how the lights hit them um, so it's like you could see some are like purple, bluish, and some like, you know, more like on the clear side when you turn it around. To me, this is absolutely amazing. And I knew I wanted to get it. It has been always on my wish list, so I'm so happy to finally have it. Let me share with you the second glass bead that I have in here, and then I will show you the silver. Um, this one is called coral opal and they are from the same kit it is called the happy summer kit or a happy kit 
and eventually I would love to own the other four beads that are on that kit so I can complete it. This one also has the same pattern but now with the coral color and then the um, beads on top are supposed to represent opal. As you can see, as I turn it around, we see the pink representing the opal. And of course, like if you do it the other way around, like you could see sort of like a, like a brownish um, shade. I found that totally amazing. So depending how the light hits it, you see different patterns of colors. So I absolutely love that. And then the piece that I'm gonna be sharing with you, the silver piece that I decided to get is the hibiscus. That's how it looks. So it is, um, you know, like raised on one side, as you can see right there. The other um, places is quite plain. The other side, it's also plain, and then you see the inscription is 925. There you go. And then below the LAE, and then below the LAA. And the reason why I decided to get this piece is because I saw the store manager of that store in Puerto Rico wearing this ring of change with the hibiscus on the ring and it looks like this how gorgeous beautiful and that is because of, of, course. of course the top of the ring or the end of the ring helps to have the center of the hibiscus flower which is totally amazing and of course when you wear the ring like that it just gives a totally different vibe. Let me put it on for you to see. Something like that. And I don't know if I say it, but I ordered this ring in size 54. But of course, what I found more interesting is that you can actually place a glass bead, and let me use one of these, or um, sometimes even other beads like pearls or the small ones. I don't own any of those, but you can also place those and then you can change it and that's why you know the name ring of change because you can change it according to let's say what you're wearing or your mood whatever you want to put in there and look at how gorgeous that looks it is totally amazing so yeah, I have worn it already with some elf beads and with other glass beads and stones. And I'm so happy that I decided to get this ring. So, so pretty. Well, guys, that's it for this video. It was a short haul, as I say. Um, if you enjoyed watching, please remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I will really appreciate having you here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Gracias.